again, don't be discouraged by trying. And certainly you're gonna you're gonna hit dead ends, but I'm gonna give the top a try by doing this. I'm gonna say x squared. Uh, let's see, minus nine. Uh, again, I'm I'm looking for like like squares. So nine y squared uh, minus six y z plus z squared. I'm gonna do something about. I'm gonna rearrange it, and I'm looking at it. And I gotta really think about that. So I'm gonna write this down. I, I see the you know the x z. So I'm gonna say x squared minus two x z. And I, yeah, right. I'm rearranging these things plus z squared. So I do, I rearrange because I see maybe I can deal with that. And then I see the minus nine y squared. Well, I'm going to factor the top, at least partially. Again, some students are very fast at this. Other students are slow. Work at your pace. 3y minus z quantity squared. What goes on bottom? Well, the first three terms, let me put in parentheses for you. That would be x minus z quantity squared minus 9y squared. Now what I know is the top and bottom are the difference of perfect squares. So let's write this down. It's going to be x plus 3y minus z, and it's going to be x minus 3y minus a minus z, which is plus z. What goes on bottom? A little bit easier. x minus z minus 3y x minus z plus 3y. All right, now my, my goal here is to, you know, look at the top and bottom and see if I see any factors that are identical in top and bottom. And by identical, I mean identical. All right, now they may be written slightly different, but they have to be identical. And what I notice over here is x plus 3y minus z. Well, if you look at this one, it's also x plus 3y minus z. Now, the other ones are not the same. All right, the, the one on top is you know, x minus 3y. Where they differ is in the z. One says plus z, one says minus z. So I'm done. By the way, this again is conditional. The condition is x plus 3y minus z can't be zero for that to occur. We're not gonna write the condition down though. We're just gonna write down our simplified form with the assumption that these conditions remain in effect. Let's put it in order. You know, the alphabetical order. Let's look, look at the k. See if they got that. X minus 3y plus z. And again, it, it, order really doesn't much matter. I, I like alphabetical order, but x minus, yeah, it's perfect. We got the same answer, and that's good news. Thank you.